Welcome one more time, students. As always, I say I'm really happy to see you here. Let's start with our lesson for today. Yeah? I'm going to show you now the classroom presentation tool. This is it, right? Now, the previous class, the previous lesson, we stopped on this part, right? I assigned you homework and I think we must continue on this part. We are on the unit number four. Let me see. Let me check this. Yeah, definitely. We are on the unit number four. Yeah. We are working on these uh, activities, right? <clears throat> we are talking about a present perfect. We are talking about uh, life experiences, right? Uh, then we are doing about uh, the life of an astronaut. What's life? Oh, yeah. We feel good, right? We are on the unit number five now. Okay, because uh, I'm gonna write here unit number five. I thought we were on the unit number four. We're on the unit number five. No, we're learning about oh comparatives. I remember no comparison. Uh, comparison with adjectives and nouns. Yeah, we did this. We finished this. The last class, right? Now it's time to work here. This is the topic now. It says, I don't believe it. Yeah, let's just start working very fast because we are kind of delayed. Let's see. Here it says, activity, oh, sorry, lesson B, I don't believe it. Yeah, number one, interactions, interesting and unknown facts. No, here it says, what is I don't believe it? This is an expression, right? Belief is there. If you say, I don't believe it, it's Okay, I don't believe it. Yeah, well, what are the oldest human made structures in your country? How old are they? What is the oldest human made structure, students, here in Peru? I don't know. Do you know the answer? It could be Potosh, Machu Picchu, Kevin. What do you think? What is the oldest? Okay, here we come. Listen to listen to the conversation. What questions can Rachel answer? Then practice the conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna play here. Uh, this. Okay, one moment. Pay attention. Listen and read, please. Lesson B. I don't believe it. Page 46. Exercise 1. Interactions. Interesting and unknown facts. Part B. This is pretty interesting. Look at this. What's that? I'm looking at this website about the statues on Easter Island. It says they've found almost 900 statues. No way. Yes. Most of the statues face inland. Only a few of them face the sea. When did the Easter Islanders make them? Let's see. About 500 to 750 years ago. They look so heavy, don't they? Yes, they do. How did they move them? I really don't know. But let's see if we can find out. Okay, I'm going to play this one more time. Read, please, because I have some questions. The question says, what questions can Rachel answer? Lesson B. I don't believe it. Page 46. Exercise 1. Interactions. Interesting and unknown facts. Part B. This is pretty interesting. Look at this. What's that? I'm looking at this website about the statues on Easter Island. It says they've found almost 900 statues. No way. Yes. Most of the statues face inland. Only a few of them face the sea. When did the Easter Islanders make them? Let's see. About 500 to 750 years ago. They look so heavy, don't they? Yes, they do. How did they move them? I really don't know, but let's see if we can find out. Okay, now, what questions can Rachel answer? No, says, this is a pretty interesting, look at this, what? What's that? I'm looking at this website about the statues on, Earth, uh, on Easter Island. It says they found almost uh, 900 statues, right? No way, no? Yes, most of the statues face island. Only a few of them face the sea. When did the Easter Island make them? 
let's see, about 500 to 750 you know, years ago. Uh, they look so heavy, don't they? Yes, they do. How did they, they, uh, how did they move them? I really don't know. What is the question that Rachel can answer is about this, no? About how did they move them? I really don't know. But let's see, I can find out, no? Yeah, so many people think that the, the, the aliens <laughs> help with this, right? Yeah, some people believe that, okay? Now, here we have to do something else here. No uh, expressions, uh, read expressions below. So pay attention, read instructions and then uh, read expressions too, okay? Part C, expressing disbelief. No way. Seriously? I don't believe it. Saying you don't know. I really don't know. I have no idea. I don't have a clue. Okay. Here we have here we have some uh, some facts, right students? For example, for example, it says, no, expressing disbelief. What is disbelief? No? Como que es, estás un poco eh, mm, Todavía como que no crees, ¿no? You express this belief. Es como que para ti no es algo creíble lo que te mencionan. And you say, seriously? Somebody like say, ¿es en serio lo que me estás diciendo? No. O I don't believe it. No, no, no te lo puedo I creer. don't believe I, it. Yes, I don't believe it. No. O saying that you don't know. Cuando vas a mencionar algo que no sabes, you say, no, I have no idea. No tengo idea, ¿no? Yeah. Or you can say, I don't have a clue. No, I don't have a clue. Yeah. Now, remember, expressing disbelief and saying you don't know. Now, it says, no, continue a conversation in part B with this question and answer. No, for example, how tall is the statue? Or, or sorry, how tall is the tallest statue? No, more than 20 meters tall. No, you can say here, seriously? No, okay, 20 meters? That's a lot. No, why did you? Uh, oh, sorry, what did they stop building them? No, you can say, I have no idea. I don't believe it. No, how far is Easter Island from Chile? You say, more than uh, 3,200 kilometers. I don't believe it. Seriously? No, or maybe, do you think you'll ever get, uh, sorry, do you think you'll ever go there? Say, you don't know. For example, you can say, I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue or I have no idea. Yeah, we can use these expressions. Now, let's work on this part. Yeah, let's work on this part because here we have the pronunciation. Yeah, intonation in that questions. So pay attention. Here we have the instructions. Page 47, exercise two, pronunciation, intonation in tag questions. The statues look so heavy, don't they? The island is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, here we have the tag question, students. Algunos dirán, pero teacher, ¿qué es un tag question? Es una pregunta que se formula como si fuera una oración, ¿ya? Pero al final termina en pregunta y, ¿ya? En base a lo que estás mencionando, tienes que escribir lo opuesto. O sea, for example, si aquí estás afirmando algo, aquí lo vas a negar. ¿Ya? Yeah? For example, you say, the statues look so heavy, don't they? ¿No? Como que dices, la, la, la es, las estatuas, esto, se ven pesadas. No. O sea, you say that. You, you use the tag question, ¿no? Don't they? Or you say, the island is beautiful, isn't it? ¿No? La isla es bonita. No. Okay, you say, those are the tag questions. And what's the intonation, no? ¿Cuál es la intonación? You say, don't they, rising, no? Decrease the intonation. No, the, the island is beautiful, isn't it? Right? Now, practice the tag questions. Pay attention to your intonation. For example, here, no? Easter Island is part of Chile, isn't it? 
You read that online, didn't you? Oh, sorry, you read because this is in past. No, you read that online, didn't you? She wasn't sure, was she? You've never been there, have you? We should go there, shouldn't we? They'll probably go there one day, right? Those are the tag questions, yeah? Now, here we have the listening. The listening is about this, no? Uh, Manhattan of dessert. Letter A, listen to two people talk about the city of Shibam in Yemen. Number the question from one to five in order you heard them. Here we have some questions, no? One, two, three, four, five. You have to number the order. What question is number one? Is it easy to go there? How many people live there? What's it famous for? Pay attention. One, two, three, four, five. Number. Enumeramos the questions that you hear, okay? Page 47. Exercise 3. Listening. Manhattan of the Desert. Hey, look at this. I'm reading this book about the city of Shabam. It sounds like a fascinating place. Shabam? Yeah, it's a famous city in Yemen. Oh, what's it famous for? Skyscrapers. It is? It's sometimes called Manhattan of the Desert, or the oldest skyscraper city in the world. But all the buildings are made of mud. No way. Yeah. Here, look at this picture. Cool. How old is the city? It looks really old. Let's see. It's more than 2,000 years old. Seriously? That's really old. How high are the tallest buildings? Um, some are more than 30 meters high. Wow, that is high. And people still live in the city. What an interesting place to live. I agree. How many people live there? I have no idea. Oh, here. It says about 7,000. Really? I'd love to go there someday. Is it easy to get to? I don't have a clue. Let's see. Maybe we can find out online. Good idea. Okay, well, here, students, we have the, uh, the intonation, right? Yeah. Now, what do you think? What do you think should be here the correct answer? For example, what is number one? Do you have an idea? What is number one? Hmm? You didn't listen? Pay attention. One more time. Listen, huh? Page 47. Yes. Exercise 3. Listening. Manhattan of the Desert. Hey, look at this. I'm reading this book about the city of Shabam. It sounds like a fascinating place. Shabam? Yeah. It's a famous city in Yemen. Oh, what's it famous for? Okay, this is the first question, no? What's it famous for? No, what's it famous for? This should be number one. So let's write here, number one. Let's continue. What is number two? Pay attention. Skyscrapers. It is? It's sometimes called Manhattan of the Desert or the oldest skyscraper city in the world. But all the buildings are made of mud. No way. Yeah. Here, look at this picture. Cool. How old is the city? Okay, question number two. He said, no, how old is this city? Okay, so let's write here number two. How old is this city? Let's continue. It looks really old. Let's see. It's more than 2,000 years old. Seriously? That's really old. How high are the tallest buildings? Um. Okay, this is the next question. No, what's the next question? How high are the tallest buildings, right? So this is number three. Let's continue. Um, some are more than 30 meters high. Wow, that is high. And people still live in the city. What an interesting place to live. I agree. How many people live there? I Next question. How many people live there, right? 
how many people live there? Quantas people live in IE, right? How many people? Let's continue next. I have no idea. Oh, here. It says about 7,000. Really? I'd love to go there someday. Is it easy to get to? I don't. The last question. Is it easy to get to? No, es fácil de llegar. Is it easy to get to? Okay. Now, we have here the next activity. Oh, dear. What happens here? Yeah. Let's do this one more time. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, that's it, no? Now we have the next activity. Activity B, listen again, answer the questions in part A. We have to answer the question. For example, was it, what is it famous for? How old is the city? No, okay, pay attention. I'm gonna play this. Page 47, exercise three, listening. Manhattan of the desert. Hey, look at this. I'm reading this book about the city of Shabam. It sounds like a fascinating place. Shabam? Yeah, it's a famous city in Yemen. Oh, what's it famous for? Skyscrapers. What's famous for? They say skyscrapers, right? Skyscrapers. No. Yes. Skyscrapers. That's right. Excellent. Next, number two. Let's continue. What's next? It is? It's sometimes called... Manhattan of the desert, or the oldest skyscraper city in the world. But all the buildings are made of mud. No way. Yeah. Here, look at this picture. Cool. How old is the city? It looks really old. Let's see. It's more than 2,000 years old. What's the answer? 2,000 years old. Oh, very good. It's more than 2,000 years old. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's continue now. Next, number three. Seriously? That's really old. How high are the tallest buildings? Um, some are more than 30 meters high. Wow, that is high. Okay, how high are the tallest buildings? Did you listen? Pay attention. 300 huh? meters high. 300, really? 300 or 30? Listen. How high are the tallest buildings? Um, some are more than 30 meters high. Wow. Mm hmm? 30 meters. Yeah, more than 30 meters high, right? Más de 30 metros de alto, right? Yeah, that's true. Como si fuera un edificio de aproximadamente 14 pisos, no? Yeah, but, but the interesting thing is, mira, o sea, de qué está construido, right? Okay, let's continue. Wow, that is high. And people still live in the city. What an interesting place to live. I agree. How many people live there? I have no idea. Oh, here. It says about 7,000. Really? How many people? 7,000. Yeah, it's about 7,000 people, right? 7,000 people. Let's continue. Next, number five. I'd love to go there someday. Is it easy to get to? I don't have a clue. Let's see. Maybe we can find out online. Good idea. What's the answer? It's easy to get there. I repeat, repeat that. Okay, let's it's... repeat that part. Here they say something. Easy to get to? I don't have a clue. Do you remember? This is an expression. I don't have a clue. Have a clue. That's right. That's the answer. Excellent. Now, let's continue. Let's continue with the next part. Yeah, it says, 
activity for speaking. Did you know? This is something like say, sabias? No, did you know? Make a list of three interesting facts of human-made structures. Number one, there are used to be soccer games and ball fights in the Plaza Mayor in Madrid, Spain. That's interesting, no? Do you know the Plaza Mayor plays soccer, soccer games? <laughs> That's great. No more people ride the Tokyo Metro in Japan each year than any other subway system in the world. That's really interesting. You no know, more people ride the Tokyo Metro in Japan each year than any other. No, o sea, no hay ningún otro subway en el mundo no, que pueda hacer el recorrido que hace the Tokyo Metro. Okay? The Metro, Tokyo Metro. Yeah? Next, what says here? Uh, number three. The TV screen in the AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas, no, is almost five meters long. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. That's very big, no? My God, 50 meters, casi la mitad del parque amarillo, no? O sea, media cuadra, 50 meters long. That's very big, very big, no? What else? Let's see. Um, well, we can find many, many things about that are interesting. No, did you know? Now here it says the group. I, I think we are going to skip this part. Yeah, we are just going to read this. Uh, share your interesting facts. Uh, your group express uh, disbelief and ask question for more information. If you don't know the answer to the question, you say I don't know. For example, did you know that there used to be soccer games and bullfights in a uh, Plaza Mayor in Spain? You say, bullfight? Seriously? Why is it famous? I don't have a clue, right? You can say that. Okay, well, now let's continue to the next part. Let's go to the letter C activity. Here we have the world geography, okay? World geography. Here we have activity one, vocabulary, geographical features. Let's see, what do we have here? The vocabulary, okay? So I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play here the listening. You're gonna listen and you're gonna match the descriptions and the pictures. Okay. We're gonna do in the opposite way. Yeah, you have to do first, but we're gonna do this on this way. Pay attention. Lesson C World Geography, page 48. Exercise one. Vocabulary. Geographical features. One. C. Siberia's Lake Baikal is the world's deepest lake. Lake. 2. D. The Indian Ocean covers 20% of the Earth's surface. Ocean. 3. A. The largest desert in Asia is the Gobi Desert. Desert. 4. G. Langtang Valley is one of the prettiest valleys in Nepal. Valley. 5. B. There are about 17,000 islands in Indonesia. Island. 6. F. China's Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia. River. 7. H. The highest waterfall in India is Jog Falls. Waterfall. 8. E. Rainforests cover almost 75% of Brunei. Rainforest. Okay, now we have the answer, right, students? What is number one? Number one says to letter C, Siberia Lakes Baikal is the world's deepest lake. No? What is number one? Number one is lake. What is a lake? Pues un lago, right? Lake. Number two, here we have, uh, what's the answer for number two? It says that uh, letter D, right? The Indian Ocean covers 20% of the Earth's surface. That's a lot right that's a lot 20 percent 
Okay. And now, what's this? This is the ocean. Okay. Now, let's see. What's next? What's next? Number three. This, what's this? This is a desert, right? The largest desert, or oh, desert, sorry. The largest desert in Asia. It's the Gobi Desert. Oh, the Gobi. It's here to the Gobi, right? This is the largest desert or desert, sorry, in Asia, yeah? Number four, number four. What is number four? Uh, it says a uh, letter G, no? Langtan Valley is one of the prettiest valleys in Nepal. No, this is, what's this? This is a valley, okay? Let's write here, valley, okay? Now, number five, what is number five? It says letter B, there are about, that's a lot, huh? A uh, 17,000 island in Indonesia. My God, 17,000 island. That's really, really interesting. No, look, 17,000, my God. No, what are these? Island, yeah? Next, uh, the, the number six. What is the number six, the letter F? No, China's Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia. Oh my God. No, what's this? What's number six? It's a river. Okay, let's write here, river. Number seven, what says number seven? Uh, the letter H, you No, know, the highest waterfall in India is Dog Falls. Okay, what's this? A waterfall, yeah? Waterfall. Do you know here in Peru, we have a, a very good waterfall too, no? In Amazonas, in Amazon, there is a, the, the got, Gotka or Gotka, Gotka, I, I don't know, the waterfall. It's very, very beautiful. Gotka, I think we pronounce this. Mm -hmm. Gotka waterfall. Yeah, you're going to see. This is really, really great. I'm going to show you this. Okay. Yeah, this, this, is, this is in Peru, students, huh? This is very nice. This is in the Amazon, okay? In Amazonas and Chachapoyas, I don't know. Yeah, Chachapoyas, no? The Gotka, Gotka fall. Got, yes, Gotka, Gotka. Yeah, kind of difficult to pronounce, right? But that's great. Well, let's see. The next part, number eight. Here we have uh, something else. It says uh, the letter E. No, rainforest cover almost 75% of Brunei. What is forest? Yeah, what we have here, no? La selva, la jungla, forest, okay? Vegetación, yeah? That's it. We have here the answer now. Here we have the answer. Let's go to the next part, no? It says, uh, per word, what's another example of each geography feature? I think we made some examples, no? Some examples. Let's see the next part. What do we have here? This is the conversation. The conversation, what says activity two? Welcome to Bali. So listen to the conversation. When does Bali get a lot of rain? When, in what season, cuando, in que momento, gets a lot of rain. Yeah, so pay attention. I'm gonna do this now. Page 48, exercise two, conversation. Welcome to Bali, part A. Welcome to Bali, one of the most beautiful islands in the world. It's definitely the most beautiful island I've ever visited. Is Bali the biggest island in Indonesia? No, actually it's one of the smallest, but it has a lot of people. The island of Java has the most people. Is that right? The weather seems pretty nice right now. Is this the best time of year to visit? Oh yes, it's the dry season. We get the most sunshine this time of year. The wettest time is from November to April. Well, that's good. Um, what's that? Oh, it looks like rain. <laughs> okay, this is like Wanuko, right? You are in Wanuko happy, de pronto aparece Shenlong. My God, no? When there was a lot of sun, when it was a sunny day, yeah. It seems to be in Bali, something like that. Now, according to the conversation, when does Bali get a lot of rain? In what season? Hmm? What do you think? Yeah. 
here it says, no? The wettest time is from November to April. November to April, you, there is a lot of rain in Bali, no? But unfortunately, no, they are, no, apparently they are on the dry season. Aparentemente están on the dry season, la temporada dry, seca, but well, no? You listen to storms and oh, oh it looks like a rain. <laughs> yeah, very good. Now, let's see. The next part says, uh, activity B, listen to the rest of, of the conversation. Why is Sam visiting Bali? Why? He has family. He's visiting Bali for work. What do you think? So pay attention. Part B. So are you here on business? No, just a short vacation. I'm here to surf, actually. You like to surf? I do. Well, you've come to the right place. Bali has some of the best places to surf in Indonesia. Okay, no? What's the, what's the, the, the answer? No? Why is I'm visiting Bali? He's visiting for a short vacation. No? Short vacation. No? And actually, he wants to surf. No? Yeah. Como decía mi amigo Pedro, surfer, ¿no? ¿Dónde está mi amigo Reisinio? Surfers. ¿Dónde están los surfers? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the pronunciation is surf, okay? No surf. Okay, surf. That's the answer in this part, yeah? Now, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna, uh, let's go to the next part. Let's go to the next page. Here we have something else. Here we have a grammar part, yeah? What says the grammar here? It says uh, superlatives with adjectives, yeah? What do we have here? It says that we have to use the IST ending or the most express the superlative with adjectives. ¿No? Cuando vamos a expresar superlatives, ¿qué es un superlativo? Pues es llevar al máximo eh, alguna comparación, ¿ok? Llevar al máximo, o sea, no hay más. El río más grande, ¿no? La montaña más alta, el lago más profundo, etc. ¿No? Use the AST for a superlative. ¿Ya? For example, it says, the wettest time is from November to April. O sea, the wettest, o sea, la temporada más, eh, la, la temporada en la cual llueve más, ¿no? Is from November to April. Okay, the wettest. Luego dice, Bali is the most beautiful island I've ever visited. No, esta es la expresión que dice eh, Sam, ¿no? Que dice que es una de las, o, o bueno, es la isla más hermosa que él haya visitado alguna vez, ¿no? Valley is the most beautiful island I've ever visited. ¿Ya? Yeah? And well, ¿no? They said, ¿no? Y dicen que, pues, en, en Indonesia están las islas más bonitas del mundo, ¿no? Ok. The dry season is the best time to visit. ¿Cuándo es el mejor tiempo para visitar? In the dry season. O sea, la temporada seca. Claro, ¿no? Cuando hay demasiada lluvia, es un poco difícil, ¿no? Y como para todo lugar, ¿no? Que tú quieras visitar siempre la dry season, la temporada seca o la temporada donde no hay muchas lluvias es la mejor, pues, ¿no? Porque si está con lluvias no puedes salir, no puedes conocer, ¿ok? Now, use the must to express the superlative with nouns. Vamos a utilizar en este caso must para expresar un superlativo, pero con sus, cuando utilizamos estos sustantivos, como en este caso, ¿no? Java has the most people of all, of, uh, of all the island in, in Indonesia, right? O sea que Java tiene la mayor cantidad de personas, ¿no? Have the most people. Utilizamos the most con, eh, bueno, el sustantivo people, right? Now it says, Bali gets the most, yeah, the most sunshine in the dry season. Now, what is sunshine? Brillos del sol, pues, ¿no? El, el brillo del sol, ¿ya? Yeah? Dice, Bali gets the most sunshine in the dry season. Es como que eh, Bali es más soleado, ¿no? Brilla más el sol en Bali, ¿ok? Now, we have to work on these parts, students, ¿ya? Yeah? We have this activity. It says, complete the conversation with superlative forms of the adjectives. Then practice. Ok, vamos a 
completar. Vamos a utilizar los superlatives. Dice, for example, I'm thinking of visiting Chile next year. No, great. You should try to visit my hometown, Viña del Mar. One of... ¿Qué tendríamos que utilizar aquí? ¿Mm? What do you think? Aquí te dice que utilices popular. Entonces, recuerda, también la regla de esto, utilizar must, se, es muy parecida a la regla de utilizar more. Cuando hacemos comparativos, cuando tenemos adjetivos grandes, como el caso de popular, ¿no? ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? Le agregamos aquí esto. Para adjetivos largos, agregamos the most. Muy aparte de que utilizamos the most con sustantivos, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿qué diremos aquí? Eh, one of the most popular, ¿ok? No, one of the most popular beaches in the country is there, ¿no? It's north of Santiago. Ok, you should, oh, sorry, ok, should I try to go to the Atacama Desert? O oh, Desert, sorry. Definitely. I think it's, what do you think? Part of the country. Dice beautiful. ¿Qué utilizo con beautiful? Le agrego EST al final. No, ¿verdad? Utilizo the most para indicar que es el más bonito. I think it's the most beautiful. Okay, I'm going to change here the size of this. Oh. Yeah, no, ahí está. One moment, what happens here? Yeah. I'm going to change this. No, ahí está. The most beautiful part of the country, no? It's one of places in the world. What do you think? Hmm? What do you think? In este caso, remember, uh, what do I have to use? EST, ¿no? Entonces, en este caso, yo podría decir, it's one of the yeah, driest, ¿no? One of the driest places in the world, ¿ya? Yeah? Aquí me estaba olvidando de algo, chicos. The most. Utilizamos en este caso... The most popular. Yeah. Okay, let me see. That's it. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Next, it says, no? Cool. And how about Patagonia? Well, that's in the south. Remember, Chile is country in the world. Oh, yeah, we have to use the, the adjective long, ¿no? Si queremos utilizar el long como un eh, superlative, tendríamos que decir the longest, ¿verdad? El más largo. Yeah. Chile is the longest country in the world. Es el país más largo del mundo, right? It takes time to see it all, ¿no? From north to south. Okay? Now, next part. It says, uh, Oh, yeah. When's time to visit? Estamos utilizando el adjective good. Remember, el good es un adjective irregular, ¿no? Que se, se, se va a conjugar a best. Entonces, the correct question uh, must be here. When's the best? ¿No? ¿Cuándo es el mejor tiempo? When's the best time to visit? ¿No? And here it says, anytime. That's interesting. Anytime is fine. ¿No? Cualquier momento está bien. But I think, y ahora vamos a hacer aquí otro superlative utilizando el adjective nice. Diremos the nicest. Nice, lindo, bonito, bueno, ¿verdad? Pero si dices nicest, ¿ya? El mejor eh, o, o el más bonito, la, la temporada más buena o la temporada más bonita, ¿no? The nicest time is between November and May. Right? Those are the answers. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. What else do we have here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we must continue to the next part. Oh, well, I think we don't have enough time. Yeah. I think we must stop here.
Let me see what page is this. We are on, okay. What page is, is this teacher? 49, okay, this is page 49, yeah? Let's see, 49, we're gonna, we're gonna stop here, yeah? We're gonna stop here on 49, I'm gonna do this, 49. This is the uh, activity 3B, yeah? 3b we are going to continue on that the next the next class yeah or let's go to the workbook el día de hoy les voy a dejar un nutrido homework students así que vamos a nuestro workbook antes que nos gane el tiempo ya no nuestra amiga adriana says dale teacher todo el homework que pueda a ver a ver yo puedo con ese homework okay okay yeah let's see what are you gonna work on mm -hmm. Well, the previous class, we didn't finish this, no? No terminamos esta activity. Nos quedamos aquí on the activity number three. Entonces, esto lo van a hacer ustedes como homework. Yeah. This is the workbook. This is page number 34, la página 34, activity three. Ya. ¿Qué es lo que vas a hacer? Esto es para encerrar en un círculo la palabra, la, la palabra correcta, no? Recuerda que aquí estuvimos trabajando los comparatives para comparar. No, entonces, por ejemplo, ¿cuál es lo correcto? Si Central Plaza is more tall than, no, ¿verdad? Taller than. Recuerda que las reglas para eh, los superlatives y los comparatives son bastante parecidos. ¿Ya? Luego, ¿qué más vas a hacer? Uh, the page number 35, también les va a quedar como homework, esta page, ¿ya? ¿Qué es lo que vas a hacer aquí? Te dice, ¿no? Eh, read about the bridges, then write comparison with words in parentheses. Vas a utilizar estas palabras que están en paréntesis para poder comparar lo que tenemos aquí. Ejemplos muy parecidos a esto lo hemos trabajado anteriormente en clase, right ¿Se acuerdan cuando estuvimos viendo aquí los comparative adjectives? Aquí está esto, ¿verdad? Our word. Comparis comparison with adjectives and nouns. ¿ya? De aquí te vas a guiar para poder hacer los ejemplos de comparatives. ¿ya? For example, aquí te dice el primero, ¿no? Dice, the Golden Gate Bridge is, mira, aquí te, aquí te da la información, ¿no? The Brooklyn Bridge is 1,825 meters, y te dice, the Golden Gate is 2,737 meters long. Entonces, ¿cuál es más largo? Porque aquí te dice que hagas la comparación con long, con el más largo. Entonces dirás, pues, ¿no? Que the Golden Gate Bridge is longer than, es más largo que the Brooklyn Bridge. ¿Ya? De igual manera, aquí lees la información, dice, the, the Brooklyn Bridge is 25, oh, sorry, 26 meters. The Golden Gate Bridge is 27 meters. Entonces, ¿cuál es wider? ¿Cuál es más, más, eh, más ancho? ¿Ah? The, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge o the Golden Gate Bridge? The Golden Gate Bridge, right? Entonces, eh, perdón, más extenso, ¿no? Entonces, escribirás aquí. The Golden Gate Bridge is wider than the Brooklyn Bridge. Nada más, ¿ya? Next, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más te dice aquí on this page, on the page number 35? Dice, eh, change sentences from one to four, from exercise, ¿ya? Mira, vas a cambiar las oraciones ahora y vas a utilizar not as as, ¿no? ¿Te acuerdas que not as as es, es como decir no tanto como, ¿verdad? O no tan como, ¿ya? For example, dice, the Golden Gate Bridge is longer than the Brooklyn Bridge, ¿no? El Golden, el Golden Gate es más largo que el Brooklyn eh, Bridge, ¿no? Que el puente Brooklyn. Entonces, ¿qué puedes decir? The Brooklyn Bridge, ahí está, ¿no? Vas a empezar ahora, ya no vas a mencionar The Golden, sino The Brooklyn. Y vas a decir que is not as long as, o sea, no es tan largo. Sigues utilizando este adjetivo. No y dices, the Brooklyn Bridge is not as long as the Golden Gate Bridge. O sea, es como decir, el puente Brooklyn no es tan largo, ¿verdad? Porque miras la... la, la, la la medida que tiene, ¿no? El Brooklyn Beach, ¿ves? Solamente tiene one, uh, uh, 1,825, ¿no? Mientras que el Golden Grape es casi al doble, ¿no? Entonces, por eso, haces la oración indicando, utilizando as not as, o sea, no tan o no tanto como, ¿ya? 
De igual manera para las demás oraciones, ¿no? Vas a hacer de la number two, de la number three, hasta el number four, ¿ve? ¿eh? Los que te pide aquí, ¿ya? Next, what's the next activity? ¿Qué más vas a tener que hacer? Ok, I don't believe it, ¿ya? Vamos a trabajar esta page, que es la page number 36, ¿ya? En la page number 36 también vas a desarrollar Todas las activities. ¿Qué te dice? ¿Qué vas a hacer aquí? Don't believe it. Vas a completar la conversación utilizando expressions. Las expresiones de disbelief, ¿no? And uh, saying you don't know. Esas expresiones que aprendimos hace un momento, ¿no? Para, para poder indicar y decir, no te creo, ¿no? No puedo creer, ¿no? Entonces, estas de aquí, ¿ya? ¿Ok? Y vas a completar aquí la conversación. ¿No? Si hay algo que, que, que exprese que no puedes creer, utilizarás, pues, I don't believe it, no, I can't believe that, ¿no? O si hay algo en la cual, pues, tú quieres mencionar que de pronto no sabes o de acuerdo a la conversación te dice o te da la opción de escribir que no sabes, pues, dirás, ¿no? Uh, I don't know, I don't have a clue, ¿ya? Y aquí ya te van poniendo, ¿ve? Algunas palabritas para poder completar, ¿Ya? Y finalmente te dice, complete a conversation, ¿no? Eh, with one of the expressions for exercise one. Vas a utilizar las expresiones que tienes aquí para completar aquí, para responder estas preguntas, ¿no? Do you know how long uh, the channel tunnel is? ¿No? Si tú sabes, responderás, ¿no? O si no sabes, pondrás, I don't know, I don't have a clue. En este caso, de igual manera. Ya utilizando las expresiones que trabajamos anteriormente, ¿ok? Any questions, students? Ninguna. More homework. No? Yes, Adriana? Uno más? No, no. Okay, well, that's all for today. Thank you very much, students, and see you the next class. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye, students. Take care. Goodbye.